In this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror your Oculus Go screen to your Windows 10 machine by just double clicking on, on a file. Um, to set this all up, first we need to register as a developer with Oculus. So you're going to go to this website and it, the link will be in the description. You're going to log in with your Oculus account and you're going to type something in here and hit submit. Now you're registered as a developer. Next, power on your, um, your Oculus Go and then we're going to put it in developer mode. So to do that, we're going to follow these instructions right here on your phone. Pull up your Oculus app, click settings, click on your Oculus. Once you're connected to your Oculus, you'll see more settings. Click on that. Then you'll see developer mode. You click on that and it brings you to another screen. You have to swipe the button over to the right in order to turn it on to developer mode. So that's done. We're going to do the software part. So in order to get all the software, you're going to go to my website. I've got a big download button right here. You're going to click on this download button and you're going to download adb.zip. I've actually already downloaded that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my downloads. See. Okay, ADB. I'm going to right click on that, hit extract all, and we are going to extract that to C colon slash. Hit extract. I, I already extracted it in order to save time on the video. So let's go to that, uh, that folder, open up ADB, and click on check me out, and then open up README. Okay. So our, our Go should be on at this point. Um, now we need to physically connect it with the USB. And then we're going to open up a command prompt and then run these, these commands right here. So opening up command prompt here. All right. The first one is we're going to change the directory. Okay, there we go. And now we need to tell it to look through the USB. So the command is adb.usb. adb space USB. Um, the next one, we're looking for our IP address. So adb shell IP route. This second one right here is the IP address of, of your Go. So now we're going to connect to it. Type in adb space connect space the IP address okay mine's already connected so I'm not going to run that command or else I will get an error so the next thing here we're going to check to see what devices are connected by typing in ADB space devices okay you got one device attached yours will actually have an IP address there uh, initially you connect with an IP address but in the future it records and it looks for your Mac your Mac address in case your IP address changes now we need to easiest thing to do is to copy and paste this so copy and all you need to do on command prompt is just right click and why are we not doing it now copy there we go. And there we are. We are, that is live on my go right now. Okay. So, uh, to get it connected back up, I have made it easier for you by creating this connect your go batch file. Now, if you leave it on the C drive and you try to run it, Windows gives you an error for some reason. So the easiest thing to do is to just take that bad boy, put it on your desktop, and you just double click it like that, and you're good.